All right, today I'm going to be looking at a uh, a FET switch, basically. There's an analog switch here, and on the schematic there is an input that comes from the front panel. When you're in DC mode, it comes through here, and then it gets selected by some switches here, and then it goes off to the measurement device, the dual slope integrator. So this switch says bring the signal straight through. Uh, this switch says no, ground, ground the input to the integrator. This says no, send the integrator to minus 10 volts. Uh, this one says take a, a division of the input, divide it down, and then send that through, maybe for high voltage reasons. And then there are these guys, which I don't know what they're there for. <laughs> I think they're there for protection, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, um, I'm going to be setting up my oscilloscope to monitor the enable pins, one, two, three, four enable pins, pins one, eight, nine, and 16 on the DG211. That will tell me if it's supposed to be conducting or not conducting, on or off, right? If it's high, it's on. If it's low, it's off. And then I'm going to be monitoring the input and the output. So one scope probe here, one scope probe here. I'm going to see if I can get something through here. All right, here is my oscilloscope uh, uh, setup. On the left, I have the output. On the right, I have the input, so if I change the voltages on the input, you can see it goes up and down. Um, and then at the lower left, I'm looking at the enable pins for the four things. Uh, D0 is enabling the ground, you know, short it to ground. D1 is let the input go through. Uh, D2 is send, send the uh, negative 10 volts through. And D2 is that weird division thing. So if you see right now, Ground is not enabled, input is enabled, so input should be on, I should get conduction, and the input is not changing with the output. So there's something wrong. There's something wrong in Denmark. Uh, I can push some buttons and I can get the digital signals to change. So I think it's getting commanded correctly. Um, it just, the, um, Input never mixed with the output. So if we come back to the uh, schematic here, um, the enable pins on these uh, FET switches, they all seem to be whacking up and down. But when this guy is enabled, I don't get any conduction through this path. I don't get input equal to output. Th this should create, I, th I think the DG211 is broke, okay? I just think it's broke. So I think that's gonna have to be the first thing that I, uh, the first thing that I change. Um, here's my probing setup, in case you're wondering. I've got a, uh, a, a IC clip on the DG211. I've got all my uh, the digital lines hooked up, pins 1, 8, 9, and 16, and ground. And then I have uh, pins uh, 6 and 7 are the input and output of that switch. I have them on the two scope probes here. So that's the way I'm probing it. That's the way I'm measuring it. And it just doesn't make sense to me. So I think no harm, no foul to take that DD211 out of there, put a new one in. If it stays the same, fine. Um, but I need to eliminate this for my sanity. <laughs> so we'll try that.